I'm not gonna lie guys, even though we're here in the championship, we're out on loan, um, you know, things couldn't be going any better for me at the moment. I am in such good form right now. I'm just on the top of the world walking around the city here and uh, check out this nice little article here. Alex Roberto is unbeatable. That is what my manager is saying about myself. I'm just dominating this league here with Birmingham City and we are slowly but surely going to the top of this league. Guys, we're looking to gain promotion to the Barclays Premier League and uh, even though this is only a loan spell and even if we do gain promotion, I won't be playing with the club come next season this is still something that i am uh, going to uh basically hope to accomplish because i want to get birmingham city even though we're not going to be playing with them next year i want to get them to the next level and then we can return to fc barcelona and from there the choice will be ours we can either stay at barcelona we can end up leaving barcelona if we're still not getting playing time that will uh we'll all find that out guys when the time comes but for now let's get in to this match another league game taking on brentford here in this one they sit in 11th in the league while we are in seventh in the league guys and without further ado let's get in to the action here it is game time boys and starting things out i'm gonna make a great tackle right here end up with the ball i'm going to take a shot the keeper, what a save from him, guys. Great save early on from the Brentford keeper. Bentley right there, great save from him. And uh, yeah, decent shot. Tried to take that one far post. I was unable to find the back of the net. Still nil-nil early on in this match. More chances, though, would follow. I have the ball inside the box here this time. I'm going to make some moves. I'm going to end up sending a cross in, and it gets cleared away pretty quickly there. Brentford with their first chance of the game. Ball is going to be swung in to the box. Shot taken, but shot goes just wide right there. Our opposition, they had their first opportunity to go on the score, but they weren't able to do so. Guys, another chance, though, would follow. This one would fall to myself, Alex Roberto. I would have a great chance. Great through ball played. Watch this. So boys, I basically get taken out in the box, but before that, I have enough time to get a shot off. I chip the goalkeeper. It's 1-0. One of the best goals of my career. Oh my gosh, what a goal it was. We take a 1-0 lead. And a little bit later on, we're trying very, very hard to go. I want to grab our second goal of the match. I sent a ball into the box to one of my teammates who has a go at goal. The shot was on target, but what a save from the keeper. And uh, that would be it for the first half, guys. I mean, what a freaking goal from myself. What a chip. It goes off the crossbar, and it finds its way into the goal, guys. We have a good, good lead here. Uh, yeah, two shots for myself, one goal. I've also been doing my fair share of passings in this half have been passing the ball a lot is what I should say but uh yeah now guys we are uh leading here one nil and uh after this unfortunately we would get substituted out of the game most for a good reason up next guys is a crucial crucial game which I needed to be fit for but for now we're substituted out of this game and after that match, boys, we headed into a training session, which we decided to simulate here. And we have some big news, guys. We're already in 80 rated after this training session. I can't believe it. We're 11 episodes in, and we're already in 80 rated, guys. It's insane how much we are growing here in this career mode. We're up to an 80 overall. After this practice, after this training session, I headed back home, and I actually had some uh, family and friends over to my house for a nice little barbecue here uh I invited a couple of my family members over here to england and uh we had a good time here chilling at my new house guys uh it's always a good time when you get to hang out with people like this because uh with this demanding schedule i have being a professional footballer you don't always get to see your family and friends as much as you would hope so uh yeah we're having some fun out here and uh well the fun wouldn't last for long because guys up next is a big game we are in the final eight of the EFL Cup taking on a Premier League side 
in Stoke City. Boys, here we go. Am I safe for walking out on us? Oh, or am I losing touch? Too many games, now all our trips are lost. And guys, this could quite possibly be one of the biggest games of my career. We've never faced a team in the Premier League, so this one is a crucial, crucial game in starting things off. Oh my god, look at this goal from Stoke City. One of the best goals I have seen on this career mode so far. Holy crap, can we get another look at things? Stoke City go up 1-0, and there's nothing I could do about that right there. A beautiful goal into the top corner. Holy crap, guys, look at that sensational strike keeper. He was never going to save that in a million years, and guys, we're going to be playing from behind in this match. Unfortunately, we don't want to, but with that goal, guys, we are going to need to bounce back, and straight away, we nearly equalize. What a shot, and what a pass from myself, but Butlin, the keeper, the Stoke City keeper, he makes a crucial save right there, parrying the ball out of play, boys, and uh, that what hurts. We could have definitely scored from that chance, but we weren't able to, and look at this, guys. Moving on, I am taking a corner right here, the first corner I have taken yet here, playing for Birmingham City, and it nearly ends up at a goal right there, but the keeper, Butlin, once again, coming up with a huge save, guys, but we weren't done there. More chances. We were fighting for this equalizer. I do a spin move. I have a go from outside the box, but once again, Butlin with a huge, huge save. He was coming up clutch for sure. Stoke on it again, looking for their second goal, and right here, luckily, we clear the ball. It's still 1-0. A breakaway for Stoke, and another chance for them to go up 2-0. Ball is going to be played in. Shot is going to be taken. It's another sensational goal. And just like that, here in the first half, we find ourselves trailing 2-0. This isn't good. This isn't what we were hoping for, boys. We came into this game with high hopes and big expectations. And right now, Stoke is just tearing us apart with these incredible goals. And this one is from the same man, number 21. This isn't good. I need to step up and take charge of this game, help lead us back into things. Guys, we at least need one more goal. Here in the first half, we need to cut this lead in half. And I have a great chance to do so right here. But I hit the ball off the frame of the goal. What a strike with the finesse shot. I tried to go upper 90. But oh my god, guys, how did I miss that shot? With that being said, we go to the halftime break. The score is going to be 2-0. We've conceded two incredible goals to Stoke City. And we haven't been doing too well on offense, guys. We need a goal here early on in the second half. We need to get back into contention here. Starting things off and around the 50th minute, we have a chance to go for goal. I take a shot, but once again, Butlin coming up clutch. More chances. I'm actually going to send a ball in into the box. Shot taken, and Butlin once again. This dude is an absolute legend. He's saving everything that comes his way in Stoke fighting to try to get their third goal of the game. We're in to the 90th minute. Stoke once again. They're going to have another go at goal and this shot goes wide. Boys, with that being said, the game was over. We end up losing the game 2-0. This right here could be one of the biggest disappointments of my career. I came into this game hoping to be able to lead our team into victory and uh, this game right here had we have won it, guys, we would have been moving on to the final four of this competition and a chance to play at a Wembley Stadium, and we weren't able to do so. We come up shorts, and for the first time in my career, I failed. I let the team down. Even though it wasn't my fault that we lost this game, I feel the need to take full responsibility. A long, long car ride home, guys, and again, I'm not happy with myself. I need to improve moving forward. I may be playing for Barcelona, I may be an 80 rated central attacking midfielder, but guys, if I can't win big games like that, 
Who am I to call myself one of the best? Guys, this one is a disappointing loss. We have to move on.